This is a video tour of room 6110 on board the Carnival Miracle. As we make our way in, it is a standard interior room. Nothing too crazy about it as we walk in. On the left hand side, we have this wonderful desk, some additional drawers as needed, and the phone. Nightstand on one side with a lamp and nightstand on the other side with a lamp. And as we look forward, we've got the TV above and the mini fridge down below. A couple of nice sun towels and three beautiful closets, not just one. How amazing is that? And of course, on the other side, we've got the lavatory. Very standard interior carnival bathroom. Sink, toilet, shower with the shower curtain that hugs your body so tight when you use it. And that is a quick tour of stateroom 6110 on the Carnival Miracle. We've spent uh, a day now in Carnival Stateroom 6110 mm -hmm. here on the Miracle. Yep. And I will say one of the positives, our neighbors on the forward and aft from our stateroom are nice and quiet. Absolutely. The neighbors across the hall, nice and quiet. Yes, normally the balcony They are rooms. not balconies. Those are interior rooms. So we don't hear door slamming, which normally is amazing. Balcony room slam shut. You actually don't have that here. So we were super excited when we realized the rooms across the hall were not balconies. Yeah, so that's that was nice. So we are multiple decks above the theater. Yep. However, in stateroom 6110, you can literally hear the singing on the stage. Here's a sample of that noise that we heard tonight. Rocky, cue the video. Yes, that is coming from the stateroom. Rocky put his uh, phone down to be able to record that. <laughs> yeah, um, we're definitely feeling it on the bed. The show is actually happening right now. I'm not sure if the audio is coming through in this video as well. Uh, but Probably the, not the base. The base. Like, yeah, we feel basing. the base. It is. You don't, I mean, you don't hear the, you can make out the audio as you could see in that video, yeah. but you really feel the base. Yeah. And so not only is the theater a problem, Yeah. What happened this morning? Yeah, and we were, well, we weren't docking necessarily because this was a tender port in Catalina, yep. um, but there was a loud thud and some pretty serious vibrations. Nothing like the apex. Nothing like the apex, but the apex vibrated and then yeah, was done. And it was done. This just kept <laughs> vibrating and vibrating and vibrating. I mean, it had to have gone, it had to have gone on for 45 minutes. So yeah. I don't know if they were positioning the ship to drop anchor. To drop anchor, yeah. if, if if what it was, but yeah. literally, it was early in the morning, which yeah. because we had to be off at eight. Yeah, no, it might have been even five. Oh. It might have been even earlier. Anyway, oh. point being, really early. Yeah. So tonight, we are going to probably call it an earlier night because I want to be ready for New Year's Eve. Yeah, tomorrow. Feel, feel that booming. Oh, I know. Feel. I mean, it's just, it's booming. Yeah. So warning on 6110 uh if you are an early bird or you like to nap uh, i would not i would definitely not recommend this room no you'd probably be fine going up on deck seven or even eight it might be better you but... can you can definitely feel it when you're standing by the door interesting though when you go into the hall not at all you don't hear it at all you don't hear it and you don't feel it so no. that's just interesting it is debark morning here on the Carnival Miracle. Wanted to do a quick final review of the room for you. In our first video, we talked about uh, whether it was the anchor we were hearing or the side thrusters. We, we we figured out what that noise is. Yep. So the theater sits on decks two, three, and four. Mm -hmm. um, and so we thought, okay, there was going to be a buffer between the theater and deck six, six rooms. 
Uh, turns out, no. That's where they actually store all of the... Equipment. Equipment, all of the stuff for the theater. So when they raise and lower the backdrops, uh, when they do any shows, they go into that space on deck five. All so, of that machinery is directly below our closets. It is. <laughs> so we hear the the wenches as they move things up and down on the fly for the theater. And we also hear the stage production in very crystal clear, as you heard in that video that we already played for you. Yeah, so uh, it's a, it is, 6110 is a loud state room. Now, the good news is it's loud during the day and up until about 11 o'clock at night, because once the show is done at about 10.15, uh, they, they reset the theater. And so there is still, you still hear the pulleys and, and all of that action. So not loud overnight with no. the theater, which is, which is great. Uh, but if you are a napper or you like to just relax in the stateroom, just be aware that it is loud. It's a yeah. couple decks down to the casino, couple decks up to Toledo. Lido. And so space-wise on the ship, convenient. So 6110 on Carnival Miracle, uh, think about this. It's it's a similar setup on your other sister ship. Yep. So as you're looking, if this is one of the rooms you're thinking about, just be aware of some of those things. Otherwise, uh, it's got all of your standard amenities, great location, just can be a bit loud uh, early in the morning and up until about 11 o'clock at night. Yep, absolutely. And with that being said, if you are looking at booking a, a sailing, let us know what room you're looking at and we'll give you some of our own personal experience advice on that state room. Yeah. Just shoot us a message. Contact information is on our website. Uh, and we'll be happy to give you some of our personal experience and advice on that stateroom location. Tips and tricks, always free here at This Cruise Live. You better believe it. <laughs> hey, if you haven't already, thank you for hitting that like button on this video. We also appreciate you subscribing. And we'll talk to you in the new year. All right, bye.